We may not all be a gold medalist, but we can all eat and train like one. Hi, I'm Veronica with WatchMojo.com, and today 2010 Vancouver gold medalist Mayel Ricker is sharing some of her health and nutrition tips with us. What you eat before, during, and after your workout are very important, so what are you looking for in each of these snacks and meals? Having a really good breakfast in the morning is important, and then Right before you do your event, your training, your sport, you, you want to have something that has a lot of carbs in it, something that's going to really get your energy to your muscles quickly. Staying hydrated is huge while you're out there. It's like you got to be taking a couple swigs of Gatorade like every, every like 10, 15 minutes, making sure that you've got something in the system. So after I'm snowboarding, even before I get off the hill, I'll have this drink and it's got protein and carbs in it. So now we're going to take a look at your favorite exercises to do at the gym. Okay, let's do it. Sounds good. <laughs> you don't want to just start off in the morning like with these static stretches where you're holding them for long periods of time because that's really hard on your muscles. So I like to do like an active warm up is what we call it, active stretching. So we can just start by picking up the knee and pulling it up, keeping your back nice and straight. Then you can switch, get your glute, stretch out your hip and your glute a little bit. You can do a bit of a twist that gets the back a little bit warmed up that's nice you can squat down and then grab your hands on your feet and then go up straight and then squat back down and come up so you can do that a few times so that's really nice to get the legs moving also you can just do like a simple toe touch you so see you can go down and touch and come back up <laughs> one foot in And then you can go quickly. You can bring it back to elementary school so you can go in and out like this. So stuff like that's great. It helps with coordination, with quick feet, with all the little quickness that I need on a snowboard cross course. Now we're gonna do the post, like the recovery, and that's like getting really nice stretch. So you can just sort of like lean into the ball and really like feel the stretch in your hip flexor. Try and stay square. Try not to arch your back, right? You, you don't want to have this crazy arch in your back. You want to keep uh, nice and tall and a good posture. Once you've done that, you can even rock back and then you can use it too for your hamstrings. The same thing, you can sort of lean on the ball to help you stretch. Well, we're really happy that you came to see us here. Thank you. Thanks very much for having me.